here with Sada Ramirez from Grey's Anatomy. Welcome. Hi, thank you. So you have a big episode coming up this yes. week. Huge. Yeah. Can you set it up for me? Well, Callie is being sued. It's a malpractice lawsuit for negligence, and she works on an Olympic athlete, um, and she does a surgery that she's uh, never performed before. Um, there's some specifics about the surgery that I don't want to, you know, I don't want to talk about too much, but, uh, but it is her first time working on this specific kind of surgery with the specific tools that she's using. And we also get to learn a little bit more about Cali and Arizona's relationship through flashbacks. And Hector Elizondo mm -hmm. comes on, onto the show as my dad, which is always so fun. I love him so much. He's such a seasoned actor and he just brings such a great, fun, light energy. And I don't know, I just feel like he's one of those actors when I work with him. He just brings out the best in me. And um, it, it really is, we have a bond. We have a connection ever since we first worked together years ago. So whenever he comes back, it kind of is like seeing my dad. Yeah. So that's, that's something Thing that was a really wonderful surprise to get to work with him. And the Cali, Arizona flashbacks, how far back do we go? Is it before the amputation? They go back after the amputation. It's after the amputation. Oh, it is. Okay. I believe it's after the amputation. Is it tense? Is it like, uh, is it happier times, can you say? It is a wonderful glimpse into uh, a lot of different elements of, of their relationship. And, and I think that it offers a really important glimpse into what they were going through at that time that we may not have seen on camera last season. Mm -hmm. Coming in here? Yeah. In, uh, one minute. What is Callie gonna do when she finds out about Arizona and Leah? <laughs> um, is there gonna be violence? Well, it's sort of how she finds out, I think, that triggers a, a reaction of sorts. <laughs> How do I talk about this without telling you what's gonna happen? Uh, <laughs> I'm like trying to like, um, so that's kind of what I can say about that. Yeah. And why hasn't Callie <laughs> moved on? I think she's trying, and I think that she's. Um, I think that she is. This is the mother of her child. I think that this has been a very difficult process to go through the process of separation and trying to find yourself again and what makes you tick and what you love and you know Callie's been trying to reinvest in herself this season um, and allowing Arizona to the space to do the work that she needs to do to sort of get clear about what she really wants mm -hmm. um, and in all of that confusion I think Callie is struggling with that kind of a decision you know am, am I done done am I not done am I half done what what am I um, so she's doing the best she can to move through that process. Um, so we're seeing her sometimes <laughs> do things like uh, raise money by saying that her wife is, is dead. It was a beautiful service, but after little Sophia just kept asking, why is mommy not coming home with us? And <laughs> using that sympathy to, you know, to raise funds. That's beautiful. Where can I make my donation? Right over there next to the stairs. A lot of that, I think, was working through her own emotions around what was going on, obviously. So she was she was using that moment for herself. Spend all of my nights on the couch with the cat. Exactly. Wait, what? We're going to continue to see more of that. This episode, though, this Cali-centric episode, is definitely going to provide more answers. Are men off the table for Cali in terms of moving? Are men off the table? I mean, a lot of people don't understand that sexual orientation is very much defined by who you're attracted to and who you have feelings, romantic feelings for. Cali is, has been identified as sexually fluid and or bisexual. That means that regardless of what relationship she's in, what, what kind of, what gender she's in relationship with, that she will always be identified, her sexual orientation will always be bisexual, sexually fluid, and that means that she will be attracted to both men and women. So if the question is, is she still attracted to men? She's attracted to both men and women. What it means to me is, there's a shot for Callie and Owen. Wait, what? Whoa. Yeah, let me, I'm putting that out there. You're putting in that the out universe. there. In the universe. You are putting Reaction. that, wow, that's something to put out there because yeah. all of the Crowen fans are gonna be a little well, bit Chris, upset about Christina, that one. Well, Christina, news has got out, isn't gonna be around forever. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> all right, you heard it here. All right. <laughs> okay, um. got it. How's it all going? It's great. Yeah, we're yeah we're making progress. You got to play a lot of comedy this year, not just in the two hundredth episode, but in other episodes yeah. too. And yeah. has that been fun? Because it's, it's so fun, fun watching you do it's that. It's so fun. Yeah. I love it. I, 
I, I feel really lucky. I, I feel like the writers are constantly throwing me, you know, interesting, rich stuff to portray, both comedic and dramatic. So I'm thrilled. It's so much fun. And a lot has been made of, you know, the originals contracts are up this year. Yes. Do we have to be worried about you staying or going? I'm, I, you know, I am also uh, oh. figuring out what, what's going to happen for me at the end of the year. How are you feeling? We'll see what happens. Are you thinking any which way? I'm, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> With Sandra leaving, though, does it feel like a chapter is closing, in a sense? Yeah. For me, personally. I can't speak for anybody else. But for me, yes. And part of the reason is because I started watching the show because of... She's one of the reasons that I started watching the show. So it feels like an era has ended or something. It does feel like a new chapter. Um, and there is some sadness around it, but I'm really happy for her and I'm thrilled for her. And this is about what makes her happy. And this is about a decision that is right for her. Mm -hmm. So that's really my focus moving forward and just being there to support her and really soak in what it is to work with Sandra Oh and, you know, hang out with her or work, you know, sometimes we work out together outside of work. And, and I'm just really trying to stay present with it, you know, because one day she won't, she won't be there. And I don't know if I will, either but mm -hmm. but um, if I am I'm gonna be there without her and that's um, that is definitely something that uh, that is can be emotional um, I'm so grateful to her though for having told us as soon as she did mm -hmm. she, she took me aside privately and told me and um, and I really appreciated that because it, now we have the time to really process her leaving you know so that when the day comes where we say goodbye um, on set it, it's we have a sense of closure you know and uh, I'll see her outside of the show so yeah they always say that. <laughs> Do you think well, she'll come back? Of course, for the series finale. Oh, she said she would, unless they <gasps> kill her She off. did? Yeah, she, told, she said it right there. <sighs> okay, that's awesome. Last thing, uh, when you do leave, when the show ends, is it your hope that Arizona and Callie are sort of the end game? Well, Shonda has always said that the end of the, the real end of the show, like when it's over, over, characters will get their happy endings. Now, I don't know what she's, gonna do then. I do have no idea. you think Arizona is Callie's happy I'm name. not authorized to have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that from somebody at work. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's not about what I think. It's about what the writers <laughs> think. I think Arizona is Callie's happy ending. Okay. All right. You heard it here. I'm Haley Steinfeld and you're watching ENTV. Hi, my name is Kieran and Shipka and you're watching ENTV. Aubrey Plaza, ENTV. I just touched it with my mouth. Sorry.